but uh, one day Hussain sir just told me that uh, about this imprint that he's starting, which is called Blue Salt. And he said that uh, they've tied up with Penguin. So they're kind of looking to encourage new authors and new writers and all that. So uh, he told me that they're looking for a thriller, a genuine espionage thriller. And I thought, this is my chance. So um, I prepared a synopsis. I kind of passed it by him. And uh, first he told me, this is not good enough. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll rework it. I asked him, what do I add to it? So he's like, a, a synopsis is like a seduction, is, is a seduction to the book. Is that, is that right? Yeah. You seduce your readers to read the book. Okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm not good with such terminology. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Imran's first movie after 18. Sounds like one of my films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it after 18. Until then, I don't know what you've done. <laughs> Yeah, so that happened up after like three, four drafts of the synopsis, uh, forwarded, to, forwarded it to uh, the head of Penguin at that point, who was Miss Chiki Sarkar. And I met her at the Times uh, Lit Fest. And she said that, fine, go ahead and start writing this. And uh, I did that because now suddenly I had motive to write the book. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'd have uh, meandered with it halfway through. You know, you don't have that sort of motivation to complete a book unless you kind of dedicate the time to it and that sort of mental bandwidth. But, uh, no, so how did you go about that? Getting the back end of the, that's, it's the extent to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, and uh, especially since you're dealing with an uh, area that's as tumultuous as Baluchistan. So, uh, obviously there's a plethora of stuff online, but you can't rely on that all the time. And I can't travel to Baluchistan because Mom calls me five times a day if I go to car. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so yeah. So uh, when I, uh, Hussain, sir, okay. Hussain sir put me onto uh, quite a few of his sources too, because uh, you need to know about first-hand experience. Even if it's not in Balochistan, the whereabouts somewhat, you have to get a good idea of the terrain. You have to get a good idea of the political atmosphere there, because uh, India. Balochistan, Pakistan, Afghanistan, they all kind of merge at one point, which is not not geographically, I'm saying in terms of politics, there's a lot going on even in India that's uh, indirectly connected to Balochistan. So uh, Hussain Sir's sources helped me big time with that. And uh, when I was in US too, in fact, quite by coincidence, I happened to meet uh, my friend who I've known since a good 15 years or something. And uh, the makers of the film to decide. I don't have any call in that. So. Are you recommending? Definitely, yeah. He'll make an awesome Kabir. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's no, he's used to the character of Kabir Anand to the T, actually. Desperate, so. no, kissing. no kissing scenes. Also. No kissing scenes. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the thing is with Kabir as a character, he's not your typical main. This book, uh, this piece of work, and see the amount of work that's been put in by him. Uh, and uh, a kind of worldview that he has. So, uh, yeah, it's extremely insp inspiring. 